Hello, my beautiful family. I am here with a story from Guidepost. These are true stories that people send in. This book is from a friend. I got to give it back when we're done. It's um, the other one I was reading to you guys. The, the miracles do happen. I sent that down to somebody else. To, they can have it and then they can pass it on to wherever they want. Um, but this is a Sisters in Christ book she brought down the other day. This one is called Where Miracles Happen. True Stories of Heavenly Encounters. And it's a guidepost book as well. Guidepost books are really nice. And the one we're going to read right now is called A Promise on Mother's Day. And somebody anonymous wrote, Something happens when we pray. Take our place and therein stay. Wrestle on till break of day. Ever let us pray. I love that so true. When you're praying, you are talking to God. You are talking to Jesus. I can't go a day without it. Makes you feel so much better. It really does. Okay, let's get started with this story. Sue and Kenny Burton had tried for more than two years to have a baby, and things weren't going well. Month after month, despite many medical tests, they continued to be disappointed. People in their tiny, close-knit town of Frankfort, Kansas, knew about the Burton's dream and were praying for them. At that time, Sue was singing contemporary Christian songs in a sextet formed by women from Frankfurt's United Methodist Church. The group, ironically named Special Delivery, performed regularly in Mother's Daughter's Banquets. Sorry. Elk and Moose Club meetings and other functions, usually during a program, we would each share a little personal history with the audience. Sue explains, since we ranged from teenage to grandmother status, people could relate to all of us. The other singers, knowing Sue's longing for a baby, encouraged her to share with the audiences, and she did. That'll get her more people praying for her. The reason was tremendously supportive. After the Christmas concerts, many people came up to assure Sue that they would add their prayers to those of their neighbors. In March, a woman from South Dakota even predicted that at this time next year, Sue would have a baby daughter. Although Sue and Kenny seemed no closer to decorating a nursery, it helped to know that so many people cared. On Mother's Day weekend, Sue drove her mother to Kansas City to spend some time with Sue's sister, Shelley, who attended college there. The three visited shopping malls all that Saturday, and Sue consistently pressed the automatic door lock every time they parked and got out of the car. We joked about being overly cautious in the big city, but there was no point in being careless, Sue says. True, true, true. Lock your doors, people. Sunday morning, the trio awakened to a steady rain. They lounged around in Shelley's apartment and had an early lunch. The downpour continued so eventfully, the three decided to go out anyway. Dodging raindrops, they splashed across the parking lot to Sue's car. Hurry up, I'm getting soaked, Shelley laughed as Sue unlocked the driver's door, then pressed the switch to open the other doors. Shelley scrambled into the front seat while their mother got in back. Look at this, she exclaimed as her daughters turned around. On the back seat was a pink baby booty. Now, where'd that come from? Where did that come from, Sue asked. It wasn't there yesterday, was it, Mom? No, her mother said. I was in and out of here all day, and I never saw it. Could it have been stuck down in the seat, maybe left by one of your friends in Frankfurt, Shelley asked. Sue shook her head. I doubt it. My friend's children are all older. I don't think a baby has ever been in this car. The women pondered over that a while. Someone must have found it lying near the car now and tossed it in, and Shelley thinking it was ours. But the car was never open, she pointed out. You know I've locked the doors whenever we got out, and why would anyone think a booty belonged to us? No one here knows us. Look how muddy and wet it is outside, Sue's mother added, but the booty is clean and dry. The, woman fell si the women fell silent, again, turning over possible explanations in their minds, but no solution emerged. 
The booty's position looked deliberate, as if someone had wanted to be sure it was seen. God. What if... Sue couldn't finish her sentence, but the others knew what she was thinking. Was the booty a message from heaven? A sign that all those prayers ascending from the Kansas plains were about to be answered? I truly believe so. Sue hardly dared to hope. She took the booty home, put it in her Bible, and waited. Waited until she realized she was indeed pregnant. Had been pregnant on that Mother's Day morning and would just, as the lady from South Dakota predicted, be a mother of a daughter very soon. When people asked how I could be so sure of a girl, I would simply show them the booty, Sue says. Would God send pink for any other reason? Today, some years later, Sue and Kenny still keep the booty in a special place as a reminder that God answers prayers. In fact, he answers in abundance, for their older daughter Paige has a sister, Chelsea. I have no doubt that an angel left that booty there as a sign for me, Sue says. For her, every day is Mother's Day. I believe that too. Do you guys believe it? I truly believe it. I tell you things that's happened around here. I know it's God doing it. And our father has a sense of humor. He really does. Like I was looking for keys or something. I don't remember what it was. This happens all the time. And I checked my stand that's right beside me. Nothing was there. I checked it. All the drawers, everything. Nothing on top, nothing. Was looking everywhere for it. Me and Sherm getting aggravated. We couldn't find it. And I went back over and sat in my chair again. And right there on my stand that was completely bare of anything like that. The keys were just laying there. It's right there. Our God has a sense of humor. Our Father does. He truly does. And I'm so glad. I get that too. I must get it from him. <laughs> but that happens all the time. Does that happen to you guys? Has it ever happened to you? So I truly, truly believe that God had an angel put that booty in that car. There's no other explanation for it. I believe stuff like that. I know, I know in my heart God does stuff like that. Because things have happened to us so many times. And other people I know... There's no explanation but God, and our Father does have a sense of humor, so don't forget that. And don't think he don't, because he really does. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the story, and I hope you guys have a great night. Good night.